Oh, what's the, the outcome of the conversation with? Okay. There's really no outcome. Um, she didn't get talked to her, right? No, I haven't talked to her yet. There's no outcome. But I just came to see if anybody's going to take this pain off the face. Because they, uh, they're basically talking about, uh, I guess, a report from April of last year. So it was about drugs. They see there's no drugs in the, her or the baby system, so we're pretty much pretty much done. So is somebody going to take this thing off or we're going to have to do it the hard way? Okay. What was that? I'm sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't talking to them. Okay. That's okay. I'm the director, so you need to talk to me. So what are you planning? I need you. Well, I'd like to know what your plans are, well, We're getting ready to go. She's, she's getting ready to go home. They cannot go, right? Let me. Or they I, said they could go. No, I'm not, we're not waiting any that. longer. I mean, if they don't have a court order to hold this baby, we're going to go home. So either somebody's going to take this thing off or I'm going to take it off. So what are we doing? Because if there was anything, they would have took this baby a couple of days ago. There were drugs in this baby system. They would have took him a couple of days ago. So you know it's not. So let's go. Is somebody going to take it off or are we going to have to do okay. this? That's not necessarily true that they would have taken it in two days because they let mommy bond. No, Here's no. my reality for the hospital. I cannot release the baby as long as the state and DCS are telling me it has a hold. If they want to come right now and you want to go home and take care of whatever this issue is for a home visit, that's great. Otherwise, you're they talk to go home, but the baby cannot go home. But who says he can't go home? DCS. They said their policy is suggesting that they need to come to the house. There's no legal reason for them to be holding her and her baby here. Did, what did they say to you? What, what they policy. Said that that policy. That they want to go to the home, that their policy I'm is policy. they go to the home. Right. That's the policy with everybody. Oh, if yeah, there's a okay. report that's made, they do the home visit, and, and that's how... But it's policy, but I don't, I don't have to understand this. There's policy and there's law, and I don't legally have to let these people in my house because of the allegation. And I can call on you right now and say, you're neglecting your kids. And you're just supposed to just let them in your house because somebody made a phone call? What I think they're trying to say is to get this resolved. I understand that, but it's already resolved because it was an issue of drugs and they see there's no issue with drugs. So it's but resolved. the investigation's not closed yet until they do that one visit and they tell Well, I'm, you know, but this is the policy. This is their policy. They don't have a legal right to come into my home over allegations. Not verified allegations. We're talking about allegations. Not verified. I know there's a difference between the two. They're talking about policy. And the law suggests that I don't have to let anyone into my home. Right? I have, we, we all have a Fourth Amendment right not to let anyone into their home. So if there's no legal reason and there's no court order for them to hold this baby here, we are going home. Simple as that. It's simple as that. So DCS is not coming, and did they call the mom? Yeah, well, I just talked to them. I just got on the phone with them. And what did they and, say? And they were saying that their policy says they have to come to the house. And I'm like, your policy is not law. So she said, well, we'd have to go to court. I said, do that, but in the meantime, you can't hold the baby hostage here without, without your court order. So somebody's going to take this thing up here, so, or we're getting ready to go. We're not gonna, you're not gonna stall us any longer. I wasn't trying to stall you. Man. Well, I'm just telling you, we're not gonna wait on another phone call. You know the law says they have to have some kind of court order. So if they don't have that, release this baby, or we're gonna go on our own. Period. Um, I understand what you're saying, ma'am. You, apparently you don't, because I see you're gonna say the but. but no, what? I'm talking to our risk manager, because the hospital has a liability. This baby was born here. The With state drugs? of DCS is telling us not to discharge the baby until they have cleared the environment the baby's going home to. You are telling me that the baby's going anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm telling you, I'm just notifying my risk department that you are, will be breaching We're saying whatever paper that we need to sign, will we breach your policy? That's fine. Please, I can't do anything. Yeah, of course you can't, so let's do this. I can do something, but I'm not going well, to do Well, look, just come on. We're not going to sit here forever and wait on you guys. I've been here for two hours, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. We were trying to do the best thing for the patient. Look, apparently not. I'll call down here. I'm not going to fight this anymore. I'll be in in just one minute, okay? I've got another situation. So that lady... That was a wrap-it upstairs. It was her boyfriend that failed, so I need her. Let me discharge it from this. You take care of this, and I'll take care of this. 
They just needed her to, to step out so she came down and see her daughter had a baby yesterday, so she didn't get it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.